What's up, YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your techno dad here with a quick, quick video. Just got a press release from Sound United. Looks like Denon has answered a lot of your guys' prayers, and I'm super excited. I actually didn't want to make a video today, and I was compelled to make a video today because of this news. So what's the big news? The brand new Denon AVR X3600H has been released. Now, I went on to Amazon and it said it's a pre-order. July 15th is when it should be shipping, uh, but it says it's, you know, released worldwide. I, I don't even see it on Crutchfield, so I think we just need to wait a little bit, but this is great news. Why is it great news? A lot of you have been asking for a nine channel receiver under a thousand dollars. And so far, Onkyo has only been the choice. Like that's the only one manufacturer that had a nine channel AVR for 5.2.4 setup and it was under a thousand bucks. Well, Denon took it a step further. They made this new X3600H $1,100. Not only is it nine channels, so you can do 5.2.4 or 7.2.2. You can also add another two channels. Wait, that's right, I said it. This is an 11 channel processing AVR for $1,100. Not only that guys, they also lowered the barrier of entry for IMAX enhanced. So yes, it is $1,100, just a little over a thousand bucks, but you get 11 channel processing, nine channels of power, so you can do a full 7.2.4, and it has full 7.2.4 pre-outs. And you get IMAX enhanced. I have no doubt that this has got to be the most bang for your buck AV receiver of 2019. From a lot of you out there, I've heard, hey, I have a $400 receiver, but I want to add two more channels because I have 5.1.2 and I want to get 5.1.4. Now I'll tell you firsthand, firsthand, the upgrade from 5.1.2 to 5.1.4, which I did upstairs in my living room, it was like a whole new world. And I'm not talking about Aladdin, although there is a new one, isn't there? I think so. They're just redoing all these movies, aren't they? They just really don't have anything else that they can do, anything new or, and never mind. That's beside the point. You can do an upgrade from your 5.1.2 to 5.1.4 with this new Denon AVR. $1,100 is still steep, but the previous years, the only way to get nine channels in a Denon AVR is to get the 4,400 or 4,500, which was $1,600. So they lowered it by 500 bucks. And I think the main difference now is you don't get Oro 3D. So when they announced the 4,600 and 6,600 later on this year for 2019, those will have Oro 3D probably. I mean, that, I, I don't see them dropping Oro 3D, but those would be the differences. Of course, power, and you'll probably get a few more bells and whistles on the higher end models. But you guys, this is crazy, and I'm super excited about it. If you can't tell, I am really, really excited because you guys have been asking for this. You know, that you want Denon to come out with the nine channel AVR around a thousand bucks, and here it is. Not sure like when it's gonna go on sale sale, like maybe you might find some Black Friday sales to get it, you know, get that hundred bucks off so you're at a thousand or maybe it'll go to 900 in some holiday sales, maybe Fry's Electronics, I don't know. That I can't speculate on. I can just tell you what's happening right now. July 15th, these things will be uh, shipping. I put link in the description to Amazon if you guys wanna pre-order or just check it out. Now it does have a lot of features that all the 600 series that were announced before it, the 1600, 2600 has all the same stuff. We've got support for enhanced ARC, eARC. We also have auto low latency mode, ALLM, and we have HDCP 2.3 support on the HDMI ports for this unit. Now differentiating it more from the 2600 to the 3600, we also get a higher level of Odyssey room calibration, which I think is cool. $1,100 for probably one of the best value AV receivers on the market, hands down. I mean, you can just go ahead and get yourself a two channel amp, like a little desktop amp uh, for a hundred bucks. And for $1,200, you've got 7.2.4 all ready to go. Now, of course, as long as the pre-outs are just like the other uh, Denon models, and if they haven't skimped on that and kept that the same kind of power, I think you should be good. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you can get an Emotiva A300 and you know power your front two towers, 
with some good power. I think that's 150 watts times two. And you'll have a 7.2.4, you know, the AVR handling the rest. You know, take it a step further, get like a, you know, um, Outlaw Model 5000, power your five ear level speakers with the Model 5000, power your four height channels uh, with the AV receiver. I think the brand new Denon AVR X3600H should be on your short list if you are shopping for a nine channel AVR this year. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are buying a new AVR this year, let me know down in the comments. And if you want me to get this in for review, definitely let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. Well, that's pretty much it for this quick, quick video. Go ahead, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad and I'll see you next time. Thank you